I'm Jeff Creer, one of the uh, family members of the Valero Wine Company and uh, I've been here since 1983 when we purchased the property as uh, the guy in charge of winemaking and um, you know we've been following a philosophy of making wines in a very environmentally responsible manner and uh, this has been a very important part of our business. We also very aware and uh, and so on of the social side of our business. So we pay a lot of attention to sustainability and uh, we've been packaging, packaging our wines in a pretty uh, standard manner, always with attractive labels, but we've never really told our story before. And um, in the last year we decided that it was uh, necessary to make a change to our packaging in order to tell our stories uh, in a more effective manner. And uh, so we've uh, taken a decision and we know there's a huge risk involved in changing your packaging completely. But we've gone to a new label which uh, has a more natural feel and I think it uh, tells customers that uh, this is a wine from an environmentally responsible producer. And uh, the label is like this. It's got the brand in, in, in uh, quite a big format and the letters kind of grow out of the soil at the bottom of the label and the paper is very natural looking and apart from that it's a very simple uh, look and feel but it's very different to what we had before and um, we've uh, got plenty of very individual stories to tell and so we've told them on the back labels and so we've uh, put illustrations on our back labels which basically give uh, the reader a very quick idea of uh, what the story is about and there's a little heading and there's a website and if one wants to get more information one can uh, go to our website to get the full story but for example this label is a heart with a bunch of ladybirds inside and this basically just tells the story of uh, our environmentally friendly practice of not using insecticides and uh, in the process of not using insecticides we have an abundance of ladybirds which control mealybug. And then for example we'll have another label which is the story of the duck and the snail and it tells the story of us buying uh, white peking ducks, uh, we've got about a thousand ducks in our vineyards which control the snails. And, uh, and so it goes on. And uh, one of the big things that we've done at Valera is we've installed uh, natural energy generation through putting solar panels on the roofs of our cellars. And uh, these solar panels basically generate sufficient energy for our requirements outside of harvest time. And so we've got the natural energy back label, which um, basically involves uh, uh, a, a sort of a coil of electric wire but in the shape of the sun. Um, and uh, it uh, has a little leaf at the end of it which uh, basically tells you that it's green energy and I think it's a, it's a nice story to tell that people know we, uh, we're conserving the environment through using uh, natural energy. And um, we've, uh, we've got numerous different back labels, uh, nine in total, and they alternate. So every bottle that gets labelled as a, as a different back label. Uh, so within one case of 12 you'll get nine different stories and three repeats. And I think that's quite exciting that uh, you know you can buy a case of wine from Valera and uh, you'll learn th nine different things about our company and what we're doing here to make, make a difference. And uh, through our packaging we found a way to tell our story and to um, point out our points of difference. Today one can't rely on quality alone, that's a given, and uh, customers want to associate with their, uh, with their suppliers on a more personal level, and uh, the way to do it is to point out the points of difference, tell everyone about how unique you are, and uh, we, we think we found a unique way of doing it through our back labels and through the uh, new packaging that we put onto our label, onto our bottles. And we realize that there's a risk involved, but uh, we're happy to take that risk in order to be innovative with our packaging. 
And uh, if you want to discover more and learn the detail about all of these stories, you can either go to the website, but the best is to visit the farm and discover everything for yourself.